Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome now to Monday. Well, it has been a powerful 24 hours. Yesterday, we had a solar eclipse in Pisces. That's the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun lining up, creating a big bulge of energy in the sign of Pisces. And for Leos, that all happened and went down in your house of intimacy and trust issues. So wherever your mind was, your consciousness was in the last 24 hours about intimacy and also trust issues, also your connection to the other side. So this could include mourning of people or mourning of the loss of money. This is the house of taxes. Wherever your mind was in that capacity in the last 24 hours, just got a big boost of wind behind it. So you're going to find that wherever you were, it's almost like the universe slapping you on the back. You're going to move far and fast and forward in that capacity in the next few days. In fact, I usually find results as soon as Wednesday. So if you're really focusing on manifesting the appropriate intimate relationship, don't be surprised if you don't meet him or her by this weekend. Literally, it happens so fast. Now, a lot of other things are shifting and changing. Today, the moon is in Aries. So I think you're going to be partly cloudy and rather spaced out. You're kind of processing emotionally from all the events, and you're going to find yourself processing how you feel about things for the next 36 hours or so. Just go with the winds and go with the flow. Everything will be all right, Your Majesty. Also, Mercury has shifted signs over the weekend. Mercury now moves into Pisces. It's still catching up from that retrograde last month. But now that it's in Pisces, it means you're going to have an intellectual and communication clarity about these new laws of intimacy or this new perspective on intimacy. And you're going to have that kind of clarity for a good four weeks or so. So don't worry. No matter what you manifested, you've got your mind right there and your ability to communicate it for a good four weeks or so. And lastly, Venus has also changed signs, Your Majesty. Venus is in Taurus, which means you're going to have the capacity of love and compassion and creativity in the area of career and legacy. It's a good time for the next four weeks to plant some important seeds that you'll eventually harvest in about a month and a half or so. All right, that's all I have for Leo. See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes and live, love, be. So God.